song that Jay Z did a little while back, and that song is called "Moment of Clarity." Now there were two instances in that song that I want to talk about before again I actually get into the meat and potatoes of the show. But moment of clarity, Jay-Z spoke about he wanted to lyrically be Talib Kweli. Now, for most of you that don't know who Talib Kweli is, he is a rapper that, again, he doesn't subscribe to the microwave society that we have today. He's a meat and potatoes guy because he gives you substance. The reason why Jay-Z spoke, he would rather be Talib Kweli because that is what he's compared to because Jay-Z is considered one of the great lyricists of our time. Why? Because he is poetic. He puts together words and double entendres. Like, if not the best, he is definitely one of the best to ever do it. Talib Kweli is lyrically one of the best rappers ever. Most of you have never heard of him. Why? Because he doesn't prescribe to the microwave society. Jay-Z said he wanted to be, or he compared himself to being lyrically Talib Kweli. Now, but here's the thing that actually caught my attention and it's been just like etched in my brain all week because the thing about this, it's the answer to why people say, why don't you have more subscribers? Why don't you have more downloads? Why don't you have more of this? Jay-Z in uh, Moment of Clarity states, I dumbed down for my audience and doubled my dollars. You criticize me for it, yet you all yell holler. And that went over 90% of people's heads. I actually, for the most part, I'd never bought a Jay-Z album after that. But it's been resonating in my soul for the past few days simply because I get tired of getting asked that question. Because Jay-Z spoke about his moment of clarity, his moment of truth being in order for me to get the money I'm looking for, in order for me to get to the millions that I'm looking for. I can't talk. I can't give these guys substance. I can't give these young ladies substance. I can't give them direction. So he had to dumb down for his audience. And he doubled his dollars. He got criticized by those, but they all yell holler. With me, I can't switch from having you sit down at the table and giving you a meal to have you get something out of saran wrap and pressing a couple buttons and waiting. Beep. Here you go, it's instant. I can't give you the instant. I can't dumb down for my audience because my audience itself is not dumb. I have a very educated base. The people that listen to me have substance. The people that listen to me need substance. And if I dumb down for anybody, that doesn't benefit everybody. I'm going to say that one more time. If I dumb down for anybody, it doesn't benefit anybody. And that's the whole, whole premise of it. I understood how I would grow once I started the channel. Why? Because I knew I wanted to give you meat and potatoes. I wanted to give you something that stuck to your ribs. I wanted to make sure whenever you finish listening to me, whether you finish watching me, whether you listen to me perform, you were fooled when I left. When that video ended, you were like, oh wow, I didn't know that. Because the one thing that I love more than anything else is the fact that I can sit down each and every night and I can go through emails, I can go through comments, I can go through text messages, and people tell me, oh man, I've been doing this for, you know, studying law for 15 years. I didn't even know about that case. I've been studying, you know, criminal aspects in the Fourth Amendment. I didn't know about that case. I've never heard that case. Oh, I've been, I looked at that case, but I didn't see that. 
brother, you showed me something. And again, these are educated people that are sending me these emails and text messages. These are professional people that are sending me these text messages and emails. These people are the ones that are seeking substance. And I haven't been giving that to you because I was giving you my feelings. And I apologize for that. Because it's about facts, not feelings. It's about things that give you something to grow on. Not my feelings. And at the end of the day, what we have to understand is the fact that when I'm doing this, the whole point of you even beginning to listen to me, it was because I've said something that one sparked your attention. I gave you something that you didn't see before. I cannot then this hell poison it by now leaking in opinions. I can't poison it by leaking in my world views. But when I can tell you is that you're here because you understand justice has very little to do with what goes on in the courtroom, but it has everything to do with what's coming out of it. And when I'm not giving you things that are based in law, but that is based in my opinion, I'm taking things away from you that you're not asking for. I'm handing you that ribeye. I'm guilty of the one thing I say I detest the most because you're asking for a T-bone. I'm handing you a ribeye and I'm saying, hey man, eat. It's still a steak. And for that, I'm sorry. Because I did not realize I had even done that. Because one thing I want to do is I want to give you guys parts of me every time I get on this mic parts of me every time I get in front of this camera I am you know what because at the end of the day it is a robbery if I'm not giving you what I have 